Hello everyone, and welcome back to Kitty Power's Love Life. We got messages in that like tiny moment of time in between my two episodes. Okay, we're going to replace Making Homebrew so we can talk about your relationship. Julie, you fixed a problem. That's wonderful. Devin, also fixed a problem. Excuse me. Got the hiccups. Hopefully they'll go away. I don't want them to be too bad. Oh, hello there, Interrupter. You're a little late today, but that's okay. We still love you anyway. Oh, and we need to help Ivana out at the lake. Mm. Hello, welcome to the lake. My name's Danielle. I'm the senior mm. warden. Mm. You're... As you're here, would you like to have a cup of tea on the jetty with me? I'll have to charge you 20 coins, but it's a bargain in anybody's book. Sure, we want gifts. Come on then, let's go have a cup of tea. Now you guys should be friends, even though that's not how it works in this game. The people who work at our locations can't be people's friends, which is sad. Thanks, Danielle. Super awesome to have a cup of tea on the jetty with you. Alright, here's a free gift. Yay, gifts. New jar of worms common. Yay! You're like so generous. Personally, not a gift I'd want to receive. Do not give me a jar of worms. Such an amazing gift. Danielle is like so cool. You should basically have it, Peggy. You'll be able to find a good home for it. All right. So it's Saturday, people have the day off, which means we have a busy, busy schedule of helping people achieve true love. Alright, so we are planning a wedding. Yeah, let's help. Should you get a makeover? Yes, you should. Your partner's glam, right? Yeah, so we're gonna go to the casino hotel or something. There we go. Um, so, oh, it'll even let me do it tomorrow. How are you and her? I can get rid of your problem. Honestly, let's do it tomorrow. Like, let's just do it right away. You should bring a gift. You should not bring a jar of worms. Because she won't like it. I don't know if we have anything good for a glam type. We probably don't. I feel like we've not had one for a while. Um, yeah, that's a practical type. So we'll just get the mini disco ball. All right, about your problems. I want to do something. Oh, we can't get rid of it now. That's unfortunate. Uh -huh. So that's a little bit of a blip on the horizon. Um. So, darn. I was hoping to have no problems because I was just going to love juice that one, but you can't do that if they're waiting to see how things go, I guess. But what can I do about it? Nothing. People are very exciting about are very excited about not having to go to work today, as most people are on their days off. I can't think of anything I'd rather be doing than chilling out here with you, honey. Did you clog the kitchen sink earlier? Try to get twenty-one and resolve the argument. Okay, I'm gonna stay on eighteen. Yay! Please believe me, darling, I didn't clog up the kitchen sink with hair. Uh. On 12, I'm gonna hit. On 20, I'm gonna stay. Look at that. This almost never goes my way, but this time it did. I'm sure I didn't clog up the kitchen sink with hair, but don't worry, I'll go sort it out right now. Maybe it was me and I forgot. <laughs> yeah. I can totally go along with that, babes. I literally love you so much. Why is he talking all glam when Devin's the glam one? He's the edgy one. I'll never understand. All 
Alright, so then we hit our long block of everything that we have to do today. So hopefully we can make it all work. She's, Julie hates the shopping mall, apparently. Rylan and Angelina are going to try and become friends. I don't remember what they're doing. Oh, making chutney. Of course she's going to like making chutney. She's a hippie type. And then I have a feeling that we had... We have the reverse of this going on today as well. Oh, so cute. Best friends forever. And then if everything works out, you'll literally never make chutney again. You've made it once and now you're done. Because <laughs> she's moving out. Alrighty. Angelina and Rylan are now hanging out literally the next hour. Look how many friends Angelina has. She's got six whole friends. Thanks for doing volunteer work with me. What'd you think of it? It was totally awesome. Yay. So much time with friends. Okay. Oh, that's right. We scheduled Millicent to try and get a new job. I totally forgot, even though I did literally just finish recording the last episode. Like, just finished it. Hello again, Millicent. Back for another job interview, are we? Yes, hello. Thanks for making time to see me. Which position are you interested in applying for? There's a vacancy for an airline pilot. You don't look like airline pilot material. What? Really? Is it not practical? I think you're going to need to be okay with staying in the same place, namely inside the plane. I think you're going to want to be on time because flights and all. You should definitely have planned routes. You've really done your research, but she won't get it. <sighs> because apparently practical is not how you want to be dressed for an airline pilot. She just has to go back to being a brain surgeon. It's okay, hun. You probably make more money as a brain surgeon anyway. What's this message? I didn't even hear a message come in. Oh, you and your husband want to get on with life, huh? And Abraham, you have a problemo, but you're already coming in. Did we bring you in for another reason? Oh yeah, your re repression. Which might be your problem now. Okay, so that's not the problem. It's something else. Uh, your partner's bad habit. Okay, well, well that was easy to do. We're going to schedule her some hypnotherapy and fix it all up. Alright, so let's... Oh, yeah, that's right, you're trying something already. Even though I don't think it's going to work. Ah... Uh... That's my I don't think it's going to work face. It's just sort of a panic face. Sarah and Rylan are trying to become friends. Rylan's just popular today. He's just bouncing all over town meeting up with different people. Can't do that in real life normally. Like, you spend a lot of time with one person. Yeah, he did not like paper mache art at all. So let's prevent enemies by playing some friendship pinball, as we often do. Wow, I'm... Apparently really bad at pinball today. I think my hand-eye coordination's just off because I'm a little tired. Uh, but hopefully we can prevent enemies anyway. Alright, no problems detected. So we will prevent enemies from happening. Maybe we can find someone else for her to enjoy paper mache art with. Although I don't believe we have any arty types in town. Oops, sorry about that. I did not mean to hit my microphone. That was my bad. Alright, Abraham is going to try coming out to Millicent. It's not going to go well. And then we're going to try Aurelia next. Hey Abraham, this is all very mysterious. What do you want to tell me? 
I'm not sure I'm comfortable knowing that about you, to be uh, honest. Great. You know what, Millicent? Maybe you deserve some enemies, because you're kind of mean. You with your hard hat. Is it because people keep throwing things at you because you say mean things? I think it might be. Maybe you don't say mean things anymore. It'd be kinder. And then you'd hopefully not need your hard hat anymore. I want to be friends with you, but I'd rather not hear about any edgy stuff if you don't mind. What a butt. Alright, so let's bring Abraham back in before I forget. I'm gonna bring you back in today. Choose it. And then Devin wants to talk about getting moved out. I was about to say getting married. But no, he's not getting married. Okay. I didn't realize we'd already done that. But that's a okay then. Ready to move on. And what's this? Luigi and Ivana are hanging out. Even though they're already friends, Luigi has a lot of friends too. Much like Angelina. Cheers for studying app development. What'd you think? It was totally awesome. So they're going to study app development at the library every week. Why don't you develop apps every week? Then you can market them, put ads on them and stuff. Like all the apps I use have ads on them and stuff. Unless I paid for them, which I think I've bought like one app in my life. <laughs> Normally I just use free ones that have ads. Thanks for admiring vegetables with me, Millicent. It's always more enjoyable with company. What'd you think? It's fantastic. I had an amazing time. I'll put it in the schedule immediately. Oh, yep, that's a nice vegetable. Pepper. No. I don't know. Squash. Celery. Carrot. Something. I d I, admiring vegetables is not a group activity that I would consider doing. So hypnotherapy. I mean, like, my, my the biggest amount of time that I spent admiring vegetables was when I'm at the supermarket the trying visions. to find ones that I want to eat in the future. Something to do with the sun? Lightning, maybe? Okay, so... We want to move... So we're going to move lightning here, and we want to know fire and water... Okay, so fire is the third one. Okay, so lightning goes here. I think we do have to cheat, though. Because then sun goes here, and then... Fire. Lightning, I feel like I can do anything. I have the power. Yeah, we got this wrong. So sun and fire need to be flipped. Good thing that I did that then. Lightning, I feel like I can do anything. I have the power. Flame that lights the wind guides me in the darkness. I'm bathed in sunlight makes me feel warm inside. Yeah, in the first two you need to get one green in order to figure it out for sure. So hopefully she'll stop being a tightwad now. So do you want to spend time with friends? You don't have any acquaintances because you have seven friends. That makes sense. Alright, and Abraham. We're going to try and sort this out. You're going to come out to Aurelia. Maybe she'll be okay with it. We're going to hope. Because then we can finally get Abraham out there before he moves away. We don't want him to move away with his wife and have her never know about his secret inner edgy side. New message. What's this message all about? Eleanor, you and Philip are getting along so well. Well, uh, Philip already came in. I remember that much. Sarah and Philip are actually trying to become friends right now. Sarah almost has a bunch of friends. You need to have six friends to officially have a bunch. <laughs> yeah, an amazing time. Yay, new friends. <laughs> 
Our practical types are doing quite well now that inner types are becoming more of a thing in the town. I wish inner types did come out a little earlier so I could make better use of them. New message. What's up now with the new message? Sarah. You think you can... Let's actually schedule this for tomorrow. We've got enough heading head on today. So we'll have you come in and talk about moving out tomorrow. <laughs> Cheers for eating tofu with us, Abraham. I'll always bear with someone else, isn't it? What'd you think, then? It's totally awesome. Okay, well, if Aurelia doesn't like it, we can try uh, this guy. He's sporty. I think sporty types and edgy types get along. Ish. We're doing our best for you, Abraham. We are. Ivana needs our help at the cinema. Saturdays are just so hectic in this game. So hectic. <laughs> Ivana, this is Totes Cray Cray. What's happening, homie? You know Abraham, right? He's basically an animal rights activist. Yeah, sounds good to me. Oh, you must be as cray cray as he is then. Oh my goodness, nobody's wanting to be friendly today. I'm gonna go back to having a look around. Oh, that's true, she's glam. She wasn't gonna like something hippie. I don't know why on earth. It's just like, oh, you can tell the truth. I should have lied too, because I'm pretty sure isn't that like one of our like things? Like if I went here. Yeah, I should have just done it for the mission. Nothing else. Should have just gone for it. Drat. <laughs> Babes, here we are together forever. It's time to release. Glad to see eggs. that you two have not at all talked about everything. Choose a topic. Uh, about horoscopes. I like reading mine. I read mine every day. So we could get a chance to lie here. I didn't even see what he said. We're a Scorpio. The wheel of misfortune. I don't even know if that's right. I should have been paying attention. Please turn over one more. Yes. Come on. Whoop whoop! They got away with it. <laughs> oh, I'm Scorpio. I wonder what that means. We're a pretty good match astrologically. Oh, and it worked out. Yay! <laughs> hey, at least we got one mission done. Cause so far we don't have the other two. I think I did schedule. I just scheduled two level ups for tomorrow, so we can get that one as long as the level ups go well tomorrow. But they do have to go well for that to happen. Alright, let's speed the day along, because Saturdays they drag on a bit. Oh. Angelina's coming. Oh. I've got to tell her about my inner edgy self. I wonder how she'll react. <laughs> oh, she likes it. Yay, she's thrilled. <laughs> And now he's no longer worried about being repressed. That's what friends are for. I gotta dash by. We met for 30 seconds. That was the goal here when I called you and said I wanted to meet. I didn't want to meet for like even five minutes or a cup of coffee or anything. Just a few seconds. That's literally it. I had a dream where Kitty Powers was my boss. I had to run a matchmaking agency. Uh, fever dreams. Straight out of Kitty Power's love life, my friends. Alright, so we don't have anything else going for today unless we get some panic buttons. So let's see if we do. And we've got one. Luigi needs our help at home. Most pleasant being at home together, May Sweet. What should we talk about? Oh my gosh. You two. Okay, let's talk about that habit then. I've noticed you're flirting with strangers recently. So we have to schedule this for tomorrow. Because we didn't get anything that they could talk about that wasn't bad habit like in terms of like uh. finalizing them for moving out <laughs> you guys gotta talk more I know you don't like each other that much but come on alrighty so that looks like it's probably gonna be it for our day yep and that's gonna do it for this episode you guys if you enjoyed it be sure to hit that subscribe button and as always I'm the purple Peggy sis and I'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye